Hi, in this video I am going to show some of the steps Plus NC Page Builder offers so that you understand how to use the page builder and play around with it to discover more features it offers. It's not possible actually to show all the features available in the page builder in this video. So I will go through some of them. So let's first assume that in the home page we have no sections and we will create this home page sections. So let's see how to do that. So go to the admin panel place builder section uh, in the theme and home. Then I have selected the default theme version and the home version is slider. You can change them from here. And then I will just click on the edit. Here I will see the page builders. So here is the page builder for the default theme. So let's assume we have no content first of all. Delete all the content and save it. Then refresh this page in the front end. We have no sections currently. Just the slider as we selected the home version as slider. Now we'll drag and drop the sections. So I have opened the demo here. First the intro section, then the service category section, then the approach section, then statistics section. So let's drag and drop them here. Here are the intro section. Just drag and drop here. Then the service category section. And then I will add some space here. <coughs> I will add uh, 120 pixel space at the top and 180 uh, pixel at the bottom. So let's add that. I will add that from style panel in the dimensions. 120 pixel and at the top and at the bottom 80 pixels. So I have given some space here. So let's drag and drop another section, approach section after the service categories. So now here is some space, so I will provide any space at the top of this section. I will provide this space at the bottom. Go to style panel and padding bottom 120 pixels. then statistics section and project carousel statistics and the project carousel section so this is how i can build the home page or any custom pages so let's add some spacing at the top and at the bottom so i will save this and reload the home page i didn't add all the sections you got the point here you can see i have created this from page builder so you can add other section too so this page builder is available for theme and the homes, home pages and the custom pages. You can create any custom page here using the page builder. And then you can add the pages using the website menu builder. If you created any page here, the pages will be available, custom pages will be available here. And you can add the pages from here. Just add to menus clicking on add to menus now let's see how we can change the order of the sections or hide or show any section so let's assume we will we want to uh, drag it change the order of this section in we want the intro section under the service category section so first we need to go to the layer panel and drag uh, and click on this section after clicking on this section we will select this box 
so drag the box and take it under the service category so the service category comes first and the intro section goes down under the service service category we can also use this layer panel to hide show any sections like this just click on the eye icon of the selected box and it will be hidden and shown now let's see how to create an uh, custom sections using the columns these columns and the power of the advanced image editor so first of all you need to drag and let's create the custom section drag and drop the container which will give the space here and then we need suppose we will create a two column so i just drag and drop it into the container there are two columns one for the image i will i will take an image here and one for the text so let's drag and drop an image here I have dragged and dropped an image so these are the this is the assets manager which manages the images so I delete all the previous images I have uploaded now let's upload a new one let's upload this banner now click on this banner and it will be shown in the column now let's it is the image width is little too high uh, little too big and now let's change the dimension go to the style panel click on the image to select it now change the width to 100 percent so that it fits in the column now it's fitting in the column now let's see the power of uh, advanced image editor click on the edit after selecting image and then suppose you want to add some text here double click on that and select all and delete now let's set test image and you can change the colors suppose you want to give the red color you want to give white color so i give a red color you want to make it bold italic you want to provide an underline you want to align it you can make the alignment and then the text size you can change the text size then also you can drag and drop the text anywhere in the image so don't forget to unmark this text just click outside of the image image Just click outside of the text to unmark the text and then uh, you can also crop the images like this just select the part which you want to crop suppose I want to take this part and click on the apply and it's uh, cropped now you can use all the features available here you can uh, undo the changes like I undo and it will undo one step back and then I can delete all the changes and take it back to the previous the first version of the image then I can do many other stuff I can add filters and more I cannot show all so now click on apply and this changed image will be applied here and then I can also add a text field here so this is the WYSIWYG text editor you can suppose add a heading and then add some paragraph you can do all the steps with the reach editor offers like I now select it and change the font size you can change the font style and then the font size here i can change it to suppose 48 the heading make it bold or anything i want i want i can align this text so you got the point now save this and let's 
reload it in the website you can see all the changes we made in the page builder is showing in the website now let's see uh, this video is getting already too lengthy so let's end it here and make another video to show some other stuffs so thank you for watching